Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Brothers, I came across this article and I wanted to dig a bit deeper into his story. And through the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, it'll be edifying. North Carolina was just paid a man for 15 years of wrongfully imprisonment. He was in prison for 44 years. As you can see, this particular article was published on April 8th, 2021. And there's a picture of the brother there. And let's get right into the storyline here. And it reads, Ronnie Long was wrongfully imprisoned for 44 years on a rape conviction in North Carolina. But the state is only compensating him for 15 of those years. He says he deserves more. In 1976, Long, who is black, was accused of raping a white woman and then sentenced to life in prison. His attorneys have said that more than 40 fingerprints and other evidence collected at the scene were never shared. Long was freed in August 2020. He just received a $750,000 check. Scroll down here, brothers, bear with me one moment. North Carolina law states anyone wrongfully convicted of a crime can receive $500,000 for each year they were in prison. But the catch is the amount caps is $750,000. That means Long, who is 65, will not be compensated for 29 years of the time in prison. Wow. No, you figure he's not going to get compensated for damn near 30 years. That's almost a lifetime, right? Let's come on down. And it states, you took my 20s, my 30s, my 40s, and my 50s. And you still talking about this is worth that? Long told USA Today, Ronnie Long is coming home after 44 years in prison for a rape. He says he didn't commit north carolina man set free right so of course as always we want to filter this particular story through the scriptures as it stated in the curses we will be taken captive but also what captive means oh let me let me come out of this right we should be taken captive into every nation now let's get the definition of captive captive a person who has been taken prisoner or an animal that has been confined, right? Prisoner, convict, detainee, inmate, prisoner of war, POW, internee, hostage, slave, bondsman, jailbird, so on and so forth, right? Let's come out of that. Let's go here. Let's go right to Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. But this is a people. Who's, who's the people? The house of Israel, the 12 tribes, plundered and looted, all of them trapped in pits or hidden away in prisons. They have become plunder with no one to rescue them. They have been taken, they have been made loot with no one to say, send them back. The New Living Translation says, with no one to say, take them back home. That's what we gotta understand, brothers. We have been taken hostage, right? And, and by way of not only slavery, but also false imprisonment. Let's go there. <clears throat> How do we know? Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Whose possessors slay them, and get this in your mind, there's more than one way to kill a man. You know, yes, you can physically kill him, but lock a man in prison for 40, 50, 60 years wrongfully. You know what that will do to his mind, right? One prisoner once said, it's like your life is complete on put on, completely put on pause, right? Let me get back to the scripture. Whose possessors slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. I'm not. I'm sure not one of those lawyers, judges, you know, uh, 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 COs, wardens, held, caught, will deem themselves guilty for this particular situation, right? And they sell them, and and they that sell them, pardon me, say, "Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich." And their own shepherds pity them not. Something that many of you ought to be aware of or should be aware of is the, 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 the prison workforce. You know, they put together iPhones, you know, iPads, Victoria's Secret underwear, so on and so forth, right? 
okay? That's how many companies become rich because of the cheap labor, okay? Let's come out of this. Let's go to Isaiah. I got ahead of myself a little bit there. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. The spirit of a sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, which I'm sure this brother was, to proclaim freedom to the captives. We already know what captives are because we looked at the definition. And release from darkness for, for the ones in prison, right? To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn and to provide for those who grieve in Zion. Remember, Zion is a people before us a place to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and the garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a plant a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. I'm sure that brother, while he was in, in, in prison for those 44 years, he experienced all of that. Mourning, right? Despair. I'm sure depression. I'm sure all, all kinds of demons was, was jumping on his brother during those 44 years, right? Let's come out of that. Let's go to this particular story that I pulled up, that I found, well, a short video that I pulled up on him. Care instructions oh, for my Gatsby, my gazpacho. Mr. Henry Chicken, Mr. See, I'm on $50,000, a lot of money. But say I'm $150,000 ain't what I would call compensation for 44 years of a man's life that was intentionally put in the penitentiary. I was 20 years old when I left the street. My mother was 42. My dad, he was 45. For 44 years, I didn't spend no time with my mother and father. My dad died. The last thing my sister said, my daddy said, tell when I tried. So when I, I did all I could to get him out. My mother, my mother died 30 days before I got out. Her last word to my sister, get running home. Now even while he's saying this, a part of the curse is that, let me see, um, no man shall redeem you, right? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way thereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women and no man right no man that's why when he said tell Ronnie I did all I could that's the first scripture that jumped in my mind but don't get it confused when it says and no man shall buy you that just simply means redeem you or get you out of the situation that, that you're in let's get back to this video here pardon me brothers And running home. You tell me what that's worth. You tell me what's that worth. Man. You see, I'm on fifth down now. That's what that's worth. Court. 
take my life? Then you gonna tell me what that's worth? Not to me. Fighting the chain, that dumb. put a cap on another man's life and you intentionally took it. You gonna put a cap on me. To the cap he's talking about there, brothers, is, is obviously not the cap on his head, but he's talking about that cap of that $750,000 cap that they said um, they were able to pay him, but the remaining 29 years, they were not able to pay him out. I don't want them damn four hundred fifty thousand dollars already. I'm playing with that's okay. Let's say I'm playing with two hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand. How long is that for last me? Don't forty four years. Okay, I'm cutting stone, setting stone. I'm the stone mason. What the stone mason make today? What would the stone mason made up to now? What is it I could accomplish in forty four years? that you stole from me. I mean, what's, what's the American dream, man? You say, what's the American dream, man? You come to America, you ain't American dream. I ain't seen no American dream. The only thing I've seen was American nightmare. That's what I've seen. I've seen an American nightmare. Now I'll stop right there, brothers, because as you all know, as you brothers in the truth know, man, this is our captivity, brothers, you know? As the scripture states, it just popped in my mind. This is not our rest. Okay? You got to, brothers, you got to get that in your mind. Let me go back to the scriptures here. This is not our rest, brothers. Let me go down. Psalms chapter 69, verse 33. The Lord hears the needy and does not despise his captive people. Right? The Lord hears the need and does not despise his captive people. You know, I'm sure while this brother was in prison, he was praying and pleading with the Lord. See, now it's time for this brother to repent, even though, you know, he, as you can see, he's still grieving, uh, stricken by it, which any one of us would, man. But now it's time for him to turn unto the Lord now that he has his freedom, right? Now it's time to spiritually be free. Right? Isaiah 42, verse 7. This is why the Lord came to open the eyes that are blind, to free the captives from prison, and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. Right? So now it's time for this, this older brother, right, to be spiritually enlightened now, to come out of that, that mindset, because he's never going to capture those years that he lost. Not, not, not an Esau system, okay? Not an Esau system. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 25. But this is what the Lord says. Yes, captives will be taken from warriors and plundered, retrieved from the fierce. I will contend with those who contend with you and your children I will save. See, now this brother is, is, is he's on his way, right? Because he's, he's out of the penal system. But this brother, you know, he got to come fully out of that and come to the wisdom and knowledge of the truth, right? Because isn't this what our forefathers, our, our bigger brothers experienced too as well? And some of them were in the truth while they went into the penal system, while they were being in prison. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 3. Remember them that are in bonds as bound with them and them which suffered adversity as being yourselves also in body, right? Let's go from there. Remember what happened to Peter's, Peter, I said Peter's. Remember what happened to Peter in the book of Acts? Acts is what I meant to say, brothers. Acts chapter 12, verse five. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to Yahweh for him, right? Peter was in prison, who else was in prison? Our big brother Paul was in prison. How do we know? 
2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 5. And this is where Paul was just explaining his trials. He said, in beatings, imprisonments, and riots, in hardships, I'm sorry, in hard work, sleepless nights, and in hungers, right? So we all know Paul was in prison, and how Shai was in prison, right? And something we cannot forget, those of us who, who, who are of the household of, of faith, those of us who are praying that we endure to the end, we will be in prison as well, right? Revelations chapter 2, verse 10. It says, do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil, which is, which is the white man Esau, Edom, will put some of you in prison to test you. You will suffer persecution for 10 days. Be faithful even unto death. And I will give you life as your victor's crown, brothers. Take this brother here as an example here, you know? Take him as an example of, of, of enduring to the end, right? Shalom.